Breaking news. Why you must own gold and silver plus this week's biggest red flag. Why you must own gold. King World News. This gentleman from Switzerland states as the Biden administration adds another 1.9 trillion stimulus debt to an already historically toxic debt pile, the U.S. will be sitting upon over 30 trillion in government debt before Q1 is of this year. In order to pay the bills, the Fed must suppress rates going forward, especially on the 10-year treasury, while simultaneously pursuing a deliberate policy of inflation and currency debasement to inflate away some of Uncle Sam's debt obligations. The red flag is those stimulus checks are going to be hitting bank accounts this week and what are people going to be doing with that money? What we're seeing here post-pandemic is a debt crisis, not only for this country and around the world, but individually. Own gold and silver. Hey, welcome to another Rapid Updates report on silver and gold. If you're new to this channel, check me out. Please subscribe. I talk about other foreign currencies. I keep it real. Keep it to the point. We do it in rapid form so you can get back to what you enjoy, and that's investing in you. Take a look at the prices right now. I am not worried. We're a little bit in the red with gold and silver. Gold at 1729. Silver's at 25.85. Hovering right around the $26, $27 range. I'm not worried at all. This video is about positioning yourself. You want to look at your portfolio. Where can I do better in? I don't want to miss the boat. Whether silver or gold in this video for this matter or if it's a little bit of crypto or stocks bonds things like that you don't want to miss the boat you need to position yourself and maybe get a little uncomfortable at least this is how i think precious metals know why silver is a good investment now economic revival is pulling down gold prices this was uh, back on March 10th, so things are changing. But international prices of silver are at a four-year high due to the increase in industrial uses presenting a good investment opportunity now. Silver is considered the poor cousin of gold. Through silver prices normally move in tandem with gold, but recently silver has been glittering brighter than gold as the latter's price have entered into a correction zone since January of this year. Silver has outperformed the yellow metal this year, especially post-COVID. After the bull run in 2020, gold prices started stabilizing, but silver, which has traded 47% higher than last year, is still going up. That's what you need to understand. Silver was outperformed all the other commodities in the last year and because silver is quite different from gold in many aspects first and foremost unlike gold silver gets used up and is then gone forever so it gets used up in these electric vehicles that they're building when those cars get tossed away they don't take time they just go to the landfill they crush the vehicle same with mostly with computers and devices and now cell phones gold is used to store wealth and for decoration like jewelry silver is basically an industrial commodity and you know with tesla and now toyota and gm they're going to be manufacturing lots and lots of electric vehicles in the coming years when are you going to start getting into silver you're going to wait till it's validated to where it hits 50 dollars it is said that the u.s dollar index is kryptonite to gold and we've been seeing that over the last three weeks looking at the market caps for all the the assets gold is at number one still in market cap then apple saudi aramco fourth place is microsoft amazon in fifth and silver's back up to sixth spot after google dropped to seventh bitcoin at number eight facebook number nine and ten cent at number 10 tesla still at number 11 so hey listen silver production is set to rise more so now than it has in a half of a decade it was shut down due to the pandemic in 2020 global silver productions forecast a rise of eight percent so projected to 918 million ounces in 2021 according to data analysis global data the world's top three silver producers are mexico peru and china I don't want to keep hitting it home that debt is going to be accumulating around the world and for the United States. But the day of reckoning is coming for coronavirus pandemic debt. The only question is when. It's a case of can't pay, won't pay. 
Gold and silver giant bull market awakening. We have seen a tremendous anomaly in the gold market since the high was made $2,089. We don't think that is the only major action we are going to see in gold and silver. The Biden administration just passed the trillion dollar stimulus package. Staggering amount of money has been printed since March of 2020. The 10 year note is moving up, suggesting we are moving into an inflationary environment. This gentleman writes, in the 1970s, inflation hit double digits right after the U.S. dollar went off the gold standard. In 1981, interest rates were 14% or 15%. Do you remember that? I was a child, but some of you listening were around during that time. Gold hit $800 an ounce. Gold was around $135 an ounce. Some experts say that the high interest rates are bearish for gold, yet history appears to disagree. The 10-year note is moving up suggesting we are moving into an inflationary environment the 10-year note is at 163.50 a new high it will be interesting to see how these precious metal markets react we have the economies opening up given how the economic fundamentals are in dire straits unemployment is still high small businesses have gone broke by the thousands inflation is hitting commodities Interest rates are rising. The dollar, therefore, is losing value. Gold and silver are an incredible opportunity to retain value and gain significant value in these challenging times. Couldn't have said it any better right there in this paragraph. Gold mining shares are also highly likely to rise in price significantly. He goes on to say, We are strongly believe that gold and silver will react to the fundamentals sooner or later and will skyrocket to the all-time highs we are buying pullbacks and increasing our long-term long position in gold and silver goldandsilver.com march 16th the feds keeps lying to us strategists on rising rates they're pretty money lying how rates are going to stay low saying don't worry inflation isn't here we've seen that in the past articles the mother of all moonshots about to get underway for silver. This person from Sweden loved this chart, a very big picture chart showing the commodities bowl is very much a for real, a monumental breakout in the making for silver versus commodities complex. Retraced a bit last few quarters as oil did strong. So this is the cup, silver against other commodities. Here's the bowl, here's the handle, the cup, ready to take off. Then you have silver versus M2 money supply. The yellow path completes the pattern and is rather likely on. All the printing will have big consequences. This chart's going for the moon. Thanks for watching this video all the way through. Make sure you give me thumbs up. And for all of you that made it all the way through this video, be on the lookout. I'm going to be popping some amazing news in the coming video. So make sure you subscribe. It's going to be a blessing for you for 2021 stand by for some amazing news to be dropped here in the coming days if you haven't join our telegram group it's free rapid updates the link is down below in the comment section or down in the description have a great day